So here's something interesting about the Road to Boruto DLC. It actually comes with a brand new opening sequence. Oh my god. And a whole road. Pull out all the stops. Yeah. They had to license a new song. It's crazy. So, uh, Chirps, tell us a bit about Boruto. What is it about? Uh, well, he's the son of Naruto. Wait, Naruto has a son? So yeah. is this like a kind of New Testament version of uh, Naruto? <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot like that, yes. If you think about it, the New Testament is the original time skip. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, is it like... Wow. Uh, a slice of life thing, like, or is it more like uh, kind of the start of Naruto? It looks like there's a lot of action. <laughs> Lots of crazy stuff going on, but I mean, as a series, it, it does lean a little bit more towards slice of life, but it's still got the, the trappings of, oh yeah, also we should have a big bad villain. So it's still kind of way too complicated and overly verbose. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is you got still it. Naruto, basically. <laughs> No, it's Boruto. Yeah, it's just not written by the same guy. It's just his editors. That's, that's, that's kind of a shame, honestly, because I mentioned it before, but I still think, like, the concept at the start has some potential. <laughs> right. I mean, the concept is a shounen anime. And hey. you know what? There are a couple of good ones of those. Yeah, they all have ninjas in them. Hey, this is my headband. <laughs> and welcome back to Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. I think you mean Shonen Jump Naruto Shippuden <laughs> Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. You're probably right. We will never escape. Anyways, we gotta download a lot of data because we have the Road to Boruto DLC to play. That's right, there's a DLC campaign that follows the first uh, Boruto movie. No, uh, colloquially as Boruto Naruto the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, if this is the road to Boruto, is it about, like, his conception, like, <laughs> like the spicy things Naruto does in the bedroom? No, they saved that for a, for a spin-off light novel. Mm. So, while Kishimoto may not be the author of the, the Boruto series, he did set up this movie to be sort of, I guess, like a a rite of passage, as it were, to the new generation of Naruto. Here lies mm -hmm. a nameless to the new generation of mass media franchising. All he did was somebody was like, so what's Naruto's son name? And he's, uh, I don't know, Boruto? And he gets attack. all the credit. <laughs> Anything that has the word if Boruto on it, he has, the, he has the rights for. <laughs> Kishimoto was just like, well, I you do love the Simpsons and that real <laughs> little rude fella. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just stay there forever? Yeah. Wow. It won't do anything, but yeah, you can just stay there forever. Finally, a game that gives you a choice. You still have to impress it quickly enough, though, so you're still getting an A rank. <laughs> right. Hey, look at these guys. I remember them. Once a battle. Uh, I think that battle happened several times. There was once a parting. There was once a party! <laughs> what if Naruto ended with sort of like the, the dance party ending? I don't know. <laughs> what, what about it? <laughs> Sasuke's trying to break Why his fingers. Why are you fingers. calling out Jay's fanfic? <laughs> What song do you think Naruto and the gang would dance to if they had to have a dance party ending? The, the boys are back in town. Wow, this is some great symbolism. These Naruto buds. has no originalism, so it has to steal from something else. It's <laughs> just like, guess who just became Hokage today? <laughs> Those Sharingan eyed boys that had been away. Sasuke would try very hard to justify it, trying to dance to, like, fucking Life of Agony or something. <laughs> this is my favorite Evanescence song, put it on. <laughs> He's, like, threatening the wedding DJ. <laughs> oh, speaking of Sasuke, here he is! 
and the mystery man. Oh my god, it's the Yeti! <laughs> oh no, it's the Yeti from the Donkey Kong Country TV show. <laughs> oh no. Quit, Sasuke, give him some mellow yellows. <laughs> so, uh, something to note about Sasuke is he still only has one arm. Uh, he, because he is not uh, repaid for his uh, transgressions against Ninja World. In fact, he keeps making more transgressions. Right. Well, it's nice that his off-screen path to redemption at least has taken a decade plus at this point. <laughs> exactly. Like, children have been bored, they're in school now, and he still hasn't come home. I think he probably, like... You know, like, got it a year in, but he just finds it too awkward to come back now. <laughs> it was just a really good excuse to get the fuck away from Naruto. He's, like, at home with his daughter. He's like, hey, uh, honey, I'm gonna go pick up another arm. And she's like, last time you said that you left for two months. He's like, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Why do you have that? I'm gonna have to walk a long while for this. <laughs> It's a lot harder to walk these days with only one arm. <laughs> so this guy just can make magic weapons or something? Or? Uh, yeah, it's, something you may notice is a similarity between him and uh, one of the villains from earlier in our Let's Play. Okay, that's a big assumption. Shorts, if you ever talk <laughs> like that again, I will never speak to you. This isn't unison. You don't get to Please talk, talk like, like that. that. Only so just you and me will be able to become the otaku trash machine. <laughs> and we tear apart this white man. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, makes wow. You think. So this is who I'm supposed to uh, sympathize with. I see how it is. The uh, Sasuke is just yet another PC talk. <laughs> <laughs> you let your guard down, Kinshiki. Forgive me. Finish him off at once. So, uh, Chirps, you have probably seen this movie, right? Like uh -huh. the actual movie this is based on. Does it just kind of feel like filler, or actually, like, kind of important to Boruto as a whole? I mean, Boruto has recently gotten to the point where they're redoing the parts of the movie in a TV anime format, so, like, it is important to the story in that it happens, right? Like... <laughs> Oh, so... It's not like this is, like, non-canon. So it's this isn't even, like, the origin of Boruto. No, which... Whoa, I, what? What's with those buildings? Look, Pac-Man's there. I thought it was really weird, too, that this isn't, like, an origin story. This is, like, an in-media res sort of thing. Wait, they, they have air conditioning? What the hell? Look, uh, in a world of peace, the, the, the Hidden Leaf Village has prospered. How old is Naruto in this? Is he like 40 or 50 or? Um, his child, I believe, is 10, so he's like 20 something? I, he's not 30, that's definitely not true. So he. Uh, so this idiot immediately at 80 years old was like, I've got to have like 200 kids? <laughs> Dang, he only had two kids, and he became president, so. I feel bad for not Boruto. <laughs> Whenever we gotta get that kid's road. <laughs> oh, you mean his sister. I thought you just meant anyone who isn't Boruto. <laughs> they don't Please. have as cool a dad. I mean, that too. God, I wish I was Boruto. <laughs> Please, Boruto is still under Kishimoto's no chicks rule. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing he left them as a note. Oh, whoa. Is this an RPG segment? Are they back? Yes, so, if you'll remember from the previous games, we were, like, running around the town, we were doing all kinds of stuff. We can do that again. We're doing side quests. Trying to yeah, find shit for pregnant women. Let me tell you, there are a lot of side quests in this game, and I'm not going to be doing any of them. Great. <laughs> um, this seems like a pretty big, like, piece of DLC for this game. 
Yeah, I mean, that's why it also got, like, its own release. Like, there is the, like, Game of the Year edition that is specifically Road to Boruto DLC. Like, did Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 come out on, like, previous gen, like, PS3, Xbox 360? No. And then this... Oh, okay, I thought, like, it was one of the things where, like, this release only came to to the current gen. You know, I actually kind of like how this town looks so far, like... It's very neat to just kind of have, like, this old-style Japanese village, like, intermixed with, like, more modern, like, architecture. Yeah, no, it's I can't wait to see somebody with a gun. (laughs) (laughs) And it's way built out in comparison to previous games. Like, it definitely feels a lot more like an (gasps) actual village. You can still knock shit over. This is great. Yeah, you can still break stuff. Oh, hell yeah, you can. Hell yeah. Oh. (laughs) That one shit is sure. Man, those birds have a problem. (laughs) There's a dog there? Yeah, look! Again, it just feels a lot more lived in than the previous game. Like, power the PS4, people. Well, I'm never coming back here. (laughs) That's right. Later, suckers. It's time to go to the world map. So... Once Boruto gets his airship, then the game really opens up. (laughs) That's when the side quests become really important. And it's nice that they give, like, little tidbits about each of the places. Not that they're super important, a lot of them are pretty obvious, like, oh, the survival training field's where they go to train. <laughs> it hasn't changed in years. So, is Kakashi, does he count as one of, like, the numbered Hokages? Yes. Or? Okay, he's not, like, six and a half or something. No, even though he was sort of, like, an in-between president, he still counts. They still left his face on the on the oh, Mount Rushmore. Thank God, finally. You're they combined all the best characteristics of Sasuke and Sakura <laughs> in one character. That's right, welcome to Sarada. And then oh, Mitsuki here, um, interesting thing, he is uh, Orochimaru's son. Oh. Be able to beat they, they let him have one of those? <laughs> Please don't misunderstand, Orochimaru never had sex. <laughs> Okay, oh, thank, thank God. God. This is a genetically created child that he has sent to the Hidden Leaf Village. One, as surveillance, and two, I guess, because he's like, oh, uh, just living in my horrible dungeon might be bad for a child growing up. <laughs> oh no, Kabuto left. What am I gonna do now? Who am like, I, I gonna like play d and with? Like, I feel like he used parts to create this child. I'm just gonna say that. Well, I mean, like... <laughs> Kabuto also left for cigarettes and never came back. He's like, oh no, now my live-in nanny's gone. What am I going to do with this kid? Who's this guy? The one with the scarf. Oh, that's Konohamaru. That's the... So, yeah, their teacher is that Konohamaru. Was, like, their first teacher? That, no, that was the um, kid who learned the sexy jutsu from Naruto. Oh, okay. Like in the first or second episode. I thought it was, like, the teacher from the first series of Naruto, but now he's got a scarf, so or, like, how Link gets, like, the cool scarf in Hyrule Warriors oh. and nothing else. God, I wish, but no. He's just a previous character who is all grown up now. Anyways, it's time to get us back into these- the fun child characters that beat up adults. Is he gonna do the sexy no jutsu? Because I don't think I can handle that right now. Uh, he, he, he does not use it in this form. If you play as child him in versus, he does have a sexy no jutsu super move. Okay. He finally learned what morality was. <laughs> now he has a business no jutsu. So because this came out, like, I think a year after the original one, this is sort of like another tutorial fight to sort of remind you what, what of the, all the things what? going on. So, um... <laughs> He's not very good at this, is he? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a thing. They'll talk about it later, but basically it's like an instant jutsu on a gauntlet. Okay. It's kind of like a gun, but for jutsus. So I have a question. Charles. Yeah. This is very important. Does Boruto use smartphones? Uh, no. They don't have smartphones. They have this, though. Like, they have <laughs> sufficiently powerful technology, but they do not use smartphones or play Flappy Bird or Puzzles and Dragons or anything. How how would I know this is the next generation, then? <laughs> uh, okay, so in the anime, though, uh, Naruto, like, as a person, has become a brand as well. They sell something called Narutonic water that everyone drinks. Oh, no. I think that's Excuse really cool. Me? 
<laughs> so <laughs> Naruto is the 50 cent of uh, this universe. Yeah. Anyways, Mitsuki's cool. His arms extend a lot, like a snake, and he's got the the cool uh, pose. Just there. like a snake's arms. You're right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> you ever fought I like snake? his pose he does, though. Yeah, no, he's really cool. He's the coolest dude. I wish this anime was about him. <laughs> Mitsuki, Orichimaru, Next Generations. Honestly, that sounds pretty cool. I just want to see what this weird kid and his dad are up to. <laughs> <laughs> Orochimaru's just like, hey, uh, you, you, you want to join me while I do some genetic experimentation? He's like, no, I want to play Xbox. <laughs> Dad, the cell reception in your fucking dungeon is so bad. He only lets him play Dr. Mudo, though. Some talk coming from someone who can't even meet up on time. Anyways, Boruto is a problem, child. Don't tell me you Man, if Boruto's jacket was any bigger, like, his fanny pack would look like a nice ass. They don't have smartphones. Uh, Boruto canonically plays Avita. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how they. That's how they get on Twitter and stuff. This dude, so they everyone's do have the touchscreen technology, but they Honestly, haven't figured out putting it on a phone yet. Right? They haven't figured out uh, wireless calling. Well, they all have like psychic powers or something, don't they? They don't need also, phones. Also, Boruto, why do you own that? That system is Wait, ninety look. percent pornography. He's got a phone in his head. <laughs> they don't have smartphones, but they do have nano machines. <laughs> They're called smart radios. <laughs> it's telepathy, but yes. <laughs> We've got an emergency mission. Looks like a bear has been damaging the fields in a nearby village. <laughs> now, gonna just just gonna bring you down a little bit so that you understand the expectations. They did not make a bear model to fight. This should be a century. Mm. Oh, no. Then why the fuck? Okay, but what if it was just the bear from Fighters Mega Mix, where like it has no animations, it just sort of floats around? <laughs> I mean, in some way, Chorbs, I'm glad that you at least like completely destroyed my hopes immediately, so that I didn't like cling on to false hopes. But st- yeah, no, don't worry. I'm still not happy about Wait, it. Wait, cling on. This really is Naruto: The Next Generation. <laughs> oh my god. So what if they were the most respected? Oh, I'm ten years old. I don't have political him. aspirations. <laughs> it's just lame. Oh no! <gasps> he thinks Naruto is lame. Quick, He's gonna start him. doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the quote we lead off Boruto's tale. Join us next time for more of this. Is Boruto straight edge? <laughs> Extremely.